Hey everyone, how's it going? In this video, I'm going to try to make a texture in Roblox Studio, which is really helpful when you're doing building and stuff like that. It's pretty much your own custom material if you think about it. It really is helpful, so I'm going to go ahead and make a little bad object. I'm going to name this texture part. As you can see here, this is like a texture pack, which has all these textures that you can use for buildings and stuff like that. That's basically what you could make if you wanted to. But basically, this is a texture part that's going to keep the texture as a template that you can keep copy and pasting. Now, I'm going to paint on that, which I usually use. This is one of my textures I made before, a bunch of skulls. I'm going to go ahead and start from scratch. I'm going to make a brick texture okay so it's going to be like a bunch of lines here which i'm this is kind of like a time lapse because i took way too long on this for some reason but uh it's just a little texture it's a example for this video actually because this didn't turn out exactly how i wanted it to but it's just pretty much a great example of what you could do with textures but it's basically your own kind of brick texture you don't have to use like the roblox materials you got to make your own from scratch and become like a really good developer i mean a really good builder and everything because you can use textures for a lot of stuff you can use it for like particle effects etc you, you get the idea so i'm just messing with the brick texture trying to get it that way that i want it trying to make it look as good as possible now looking back at this i realized at the bottom there's a little line it should have not been there because it definitely messed with it so make sure that everything's equal and that there's no little things on like the outside part because that can make the texture look kind of weird when you change the size now you want to go in and go to the creator hub on roblox go to development items go to decals and from here go ahead and just go to decals we're gonna go ahead and upload it initially as a decal so go ahead and just upload it as if you're uploading an image to roblox if you're able to do this in roblox studio to do that it'll be much faster probably but i'm going to just upload it from my computer i'm going to name it whatever i want but it's pretty much the texture we're going to be using here now to do that go to the three dots and copy asset id which is the id of the decal and go back into your game from here you want to go ahead and insert an object into the texture part and that's going to be obviously a texture okay so find texture and after that this is where we're going to put in the id of the decal but anyways go ahead and go to inventory my images which is basically decals and from here you should be able to find the newest decal you made which is usually the texture you just uploaded as you can see here it's a brick texture which i just put it on the part that's kind of initially what it'll look like but as you can see the decal is in the texture part and from here you click on the decal copy the id in the properties of the decal paste it into the texture id and that way the basically the decal is now a texture all right and after that we have our texture here and it's perfect now we're gonna go ahead and mess with the studs and stuff like that now we're gonna make sure that it faces the top so we can actually see it because i didn't put it on the top and as you can see there already is a problem here because of that little line i had the bottom earlier but make sure like i said avoid that you can see in the middle right there it looks a little ugly but of course you can completely ignore this i could have fixed it if i wanted to but you get the idea so this is basically our brick texture we can make it into a template now i'm going to copy the texture six times so it covers each part of the object which you want to go ahead and actually do this do it the way i do it do it at the top left right bottom back front you get the idea it covers every single side and from that you can actually copy and paste this texture part and then put another texture id on all of them at once and then that way you can just easily make templates of textures and i'm going to make a brick wall which is just an example and what's really cool with the texture parts is that you can make the texture smaller make it smaller design or a really huge design it really is up to you you have a lot of customization compared to a normal decal and you can completely change the color and how transparent it is etc it's, it's really cool so after that i've been messing around with this for quite a while now i'm making a basic brick wall i'm going to make it red okay and then i'm actually going to make a top art to it as well i wanted to keep the brick texture on there but i kind of didn't like it so i got rid of it and just made it a normal material Material, so it kind of goes somewhat well together so that's basically a brick wall i made just by using the template of the texture part that we created so that's how you make a texture in roblox studio for your games so you can really help with building and stuff making your own style for your builds and stuff is really cool you can definitely make your own texture pack if you wanted to you definitely get a hold of that use paint.net if you want there'll be a link to in the description below make sure to subscribe to the channel smash the like button and go watch some of my other videos so next time goodbye